Hello everybody, this is Mr. Young again and this video tutorial is designed to show you how to use uh, Google Chrome app text in order to create web pages. Uh, this video is not designed to teach HTML or how to really get into uh, tags and uh, attributes and that kind of thing. This is just designed to show you how to create uh, HTML web pages using text. There will be other lessons and other video assignments about how tags work and where you should type them. But for now, this is just so that you know how to use the text program for saving and uh, viewing your web pages. So uh, there are already other videos. There's a video out there that I made that shows you how to install the two uh, essential web design videos in the Chrome browser, Cloud9 and Text. Uh, if you've not watched that video, uh, I would highly encourage you to stop this video and go back and watch that one so that you get these two installed. This video is going to focus on how to use text uh, to create web pages, and then there will be another set of videos showing you how to use Cloud9. But for right now, go ahead and assume, uh, go ahead and click on the text application. And you should see uh, the text app show up. I've already got mine loaded here. It should pop up. If yours is not full screen, just go ahead and maximize it there and uh, type whatever HTML you intend to be on this particular one web page. Um, I've gone ahead and saved us some time and typed up the tags necessary. Just notice I'm missing one up there. Oops, excuse me, I typed it wrong. Um, but uh, those are the basic tags required to create any web page. Uh, you'll already know that because there'll be a lesson on that. Uh, but first, let's go over how do you save so at this point it should be clear you just type them in order top down what you want to be on your web page to save we go over to save as and first thing I would do is give your web page a name um, the general convention in computer science for naming files is to try to avoid spaces in the names uh, not all operating systems and not all web servers on the internet handle spaces all that well so if you're gonna if you just have to have a space in there to make it visually easier to read multiple word files I would hold down the shift key and press the hyphen key so that way you put a, what's called an underscore in here it gives you that visual break between words but it also still makes it one word uh, so give it a name uh, after the decimal or the period here it's absolutely essential that you type HTML which means hypertext markup language that's required in order to make a text document into a web page. If for any reason, when you save and you go back and look at your file up here in the title bar, if it says .txt, that doesn't mean that your code is wrong. It means that the file extension is incorrect. And a file extension is the letter or letters after the decimal that tells the operating system what program to open when that file is accessed. So if you left it as a text file, it would either only open up in this text editing program, or if you're on a PC, it might only open up a notepad or on a Mac text edit. So if you want this to be open accessible by a web browser, or eventually when we post things on the web, a web server, this has to say .html. Um, and I have a lot of students that, you know, they're really fast typers and they're not that careful about looking when they type. Make sure this says HTML in that order. You just can't type the letters in any order okay and then next you want to go over it on the left I'm using Linux it's my preference for coding and um, uh, programming uh, but go over in the left and find your Google Drive uh, it should already be there if you do not have it there and you need to install Google Drive on your home computer or your school computer uh, there's another video on my YouTube channel that shows you how to install Google Drive I would highly recommend you also watch that one but I've already got Google Drive installed and assume that you have as well. Go into your folder and then hopefully at this point you already have a web design folder that you're sharing with me. And again, there's another video that talks to you about how to create folders and share them. Go into your web design folder and now you're ready to press save. Okay, so you just press save. Um, one last thing I'll mention, there is a distinction between save as and save that's worth mentioning. Save as is used anytime you create a file for the first time or if you're trying to rename a file and you don't want to get rid of the original. Uh, that's what Save As is for. So that's more or less creating a file for the first time. Anytime you've created a file, all you have to do is press Save and it will automatically update the other file. 
uh, the, the current file. Okay, so I've made my first web page. You've made your first web page, and congratulations, it's that simple. Um, as you save onto Google Drive, you'll notice that Google is already in the background saving for you and making it so that your work at home is on your computer at school and vice versa. Um, and one other thing to note too while we're at it, Google Drive, as long as you log off your computer at school, no other students will have access to your data. Uh, I know it looks like it's seriously embedded in your operating system and everybody would be able to access it, but all these logins and settings are removed the minute you log off the computer. And when you log back on at school, they all come crashing back to you in a good way. Okay, so let's uh, go and open up our web page. Again, go over to your whatever file explorer you're using, whether on a PC or a Mac. Go to your Google Drive folder. And mine's a little different on Linux. You probably will have a Google Drive spot here on your left. I'm going to go in here and find it. And I should have a file in here if I remember right. I think I called mine first project. Okay, let me come on down. I got a lot of stuff in here because I've been doing this for a little while. Uh, first web page, there it is. The icon itself is going to look different on a Mac than it is on a PC than it is on Linux. So don't worry if your icon doesn't look just like mine. That's perfectly fine. If Chrome is your default browser, you're probably going to see the little Chrome icon. If Firefox is, you'll see the little fox circle. So it doesn't matter what the icon looks like as long as when you double click on it, uh, you actually see a web page. So I'm going to double click on it right now and hope I get a web page. Okay, where is it? It's going to be over in this tab. And there it is. My title showed up where it's supposed to. My background is yellow like I asked for it to. And there is my uh, sentence that I put uh, right inside my body tag. So that's all there is to it in using Chrome's uh, text application. Really simple. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding it, especially if you're doing it on a PC or a Mac and you're confused, don't hesitate to email me. It's young.mark at wgcloud.org. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks, everybody, for watching.